How's it going guys? In today's video I'll be showing you how to make the school illumination cursor effect in Framer. Let's jump straight into it. If you want to follow along, the remix link is in the description. What I have here is two sections, a main section and a second section. Press F and draw a frame. Let's set the width to 1920 and the height to 1080. Press the lock button right here and then we're going to write 16,000. I know this sounds like a lot but trust me on this one. Let's move it here to the side. Now here in fill, we're going to set it to radio gradient. For the center color, let's set it to fully transparent. And for the outer color, let's set it to black. Then we're going to play with the size of the circle. So bring the width down to something like 0 0.01. Let's zoom in. And the height should be something like this. So that it's a circular shape. Now, to give you an idea of how this works, if we put the circle on top of the sections, we can only see through it and nothing else. So what we're gonna do is right click this, create component. Let's call this cursor. Now let's create a second variant. Now here, let's just select the first color and make it fully transparent. Now we're gonna come here, we can delete this. Press the first section, select cursor, custom cursor, and make sure that our component that we just created is chosen and let's select the first variant. Then in height, because we set the original height to 16,000, here we should do half of that, so 18,000 and make sure it's negative, so negative 18,000. If you have a different height, just make sure to half it and then make it negative. To make it a smoother transition when we scroll to the next section, what you wanna do is select the first section, right click, press copy on the custom cursor, then select the second section and paste the cursor, but this time select the second variant. Now you see that we've got the effect working and when we go to the second section, it slowly disappears. That's it guys, if you found value in this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.